Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome. It is time to board Broomstick Airways and fly to our next destination. This is your first and final boarding call. We are leaving France. So during March, we visited Italy and France and there were quite some interesting stories and, and pictures posted, but the numbers were down. I think there's about 24 names on the wheel. So there will be the participant prize draw at the end of this video for someone to win a $25 gift voucher. For me, and I think for some other people, Europe was starting to become a little boring and pale and they wanted to go somewhere more exciting and different and interesting. For Trev the Travelling Snake, I did the um, iris, the national flower. I may put some black for the rooster or the dirty city of Paris, depending on your point of view. And I didn't do Trixie because I need to get some um, certain colour that I run out of to do the weather. So thinking that I'm a little bored with Europe and want to move on to somewhere different, I put the rest of the names of the countries in a bowl and drew one out. I didn't follow the list I set up in January because after all we're on brood sticks we have zero carbon footprint and we can go anywhere in the blink of an eye so where are we going hmm? what would be interesting and different we are off to South America Peru yes we're off to Peru why Peru well one of my family members is from Peru they watch my videos they don't often comment their family still lives there and I thought, wouldn't it be interesting to explore Peru? I have never ever travelled to South America and I would love to go to Peru. So, what did I research about Peru? Because obviously I needed, needed to know some things. So I may fall over my tongue trying to pronounce some of the names, but remember, you can always Google Peru and find out the 10 best things to visit the food dishes, the flowers, the history, whatever inspires your project or what inspires you to work on your project. So researching Peru. Peru is one of the richest countries in the world in terms of natural resources. Gold, silver, copper, zinc, lead, iron are found across the country and there are even reserves of oil and natural gas. But even so, jobs there can be very hard to find and Peru remains one of the world's poorest countries. The weather in, in April for Peru, the daily highs range from 23 Celsius to 26 Celsius. I forgot to, what that is in Fahrenheit. And the daily lows are 18 Celsius to 19 Celsius. The national flower of Peru is the Cantuta bush or Flora de la Cantuta where it produces the legendary flowers of Inca myths. Now don't forget, Incas, is, if you're into history, is something you could explore and tell us what inspired your project from the Inca civilization. National animal is Vicuñas now. The Incas valued Vicuñas highly for their wool and it was against the law for anyone but royalty, royalty to wear Vicuna garments. Today, the Vicuna is the national animal of Peru and appears on the Peruvian coat of arms. Its wool was considered the cloth of gold by Incas and today a pair of socks from this wool will set you back 1,000 US dollars. Nice socks, eh? The wool is very fine. The vinca is a camelid animal that lives high in the Halpine areas of the Andes and it is cousins of the llamas. The wool is very popular because of its softness and its ability to retain heat, even in the freezing temperatures of the Andes. I'll put some photos of these animals, the national flower, food, whatever I can find at the end so you can check them out. The national dish is ceviche. I love ceviche. 
The best version of the marinated fish can be found in Lima restaurants. Lima is the capital of Peru. It's freshest, zestiest and the healthy dish you will ever have. Here are some of uh, our fishermen call it nemus. So basically it's raw fish marinated in lemon juice or lime juice, white wine, anything and with garlic and herbs. It's very acidic because the acid cooks the fish and it is absolutely delicious. Highly recommend you try it, even if it's a little bit. Now the other thing they have is the guinea pig. This made me sad. How, did, how do we pronounce it? I'll have to think. Peruvians do not treat guinea pigs as pets. It's preferred dish at special events. National Day of, I've forgotten how to pronounce it, Kuya, Kui, 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 that's it. The National Dish of Kui, the guinea pig, celebrated the second Friday of October every year. The cons consumption of animal comes from a long ago it was domesticated around 5000 BC. So basically they roast a whole guinea pig, fur and all. All that falls away and you eat that meat, especially on the national day. I don't know if it's something I want to try. Machu Picchu is a place I've always wanted to visit. Whenever we've considered traveling, to South America, there's been too many internal troubles and I worry about going there. Um, for years, I thought friends had been to Machu Picchu because this photo they kept showing us and it was about, I don't know, 10 years ago, they admitted it was Photoshop. They'd never even been there. And they've done that a few times. I was convinced they went up on the Berlin Wall, uh, not the Berlin Wall, the, um, Great Wall of China, and that was Photoshop. They'd never been there either. Sort of felt cheated with their stories. Machu Picchu is an Inca citadel set high in the Andes Mountains in Peru. Built in the 15th century and later abandoned, it is renowned for its sophisticated dry stone walls that fuse huge blocks with the use of mortar. Its exact form or mystery as to what it was used for. No one really knows. It just, I just feel the atmosphere there and looking at would make me, you know, be eerie and good to see and feel the Incas. So for me, there are lots of cities you can visit in um, Peru, but I'm going to Chulo, a city northwest of Peru. It's known for its nation's traditional dance, Manera. The colonial centre home to the Grand Chuchulo Cathedral with its bright yellow facade, nearby neoclassical pal uh, Intergulli Palace has Italian marble statues and courtyard. West of the city is the huge abandoned complex of Chan Chan. Abandoned once and it was home to the Chimchu Chimu Kingdom and it's like sandstone structures. So why am I going there? Well, my family member is from there and their family still lives there. And I thought it would be nice to explore somewhere other than Lima, the capital, and somewhere different. So that's what I'll be looking at. I think the uh, flag of Peru is red, white with some green on it, but you can check that out. So what do you think? Is it time to leave Europe and go somewhere else? Because that's where we're going, South America. I hope you enjoy your visit. I hope you find something that inspires your project that you're interested in, whether it's history, food, um, agriculture, anything that inspires your project. But when you post your pictures with the hashtag YarnVacationAU, put a little story about what inspired you. I really enjoy reading those. And hopefully we'll get back to our 29, 28 people count that we're taking part because they're more interested in where we're going now. Guys, I'm sorry I'm a little late today, being 1st of April. Um, just life got away with me today, and I'll explain in my weekly catch-up video what I had to do today and why the backdrop's changed. The other thing I'll be doing 
is a lot of people are doing Vita blog every day in April. I can't do that because I just can't think of enough things to talk about every day. But what I have decided to do is I am going to do April shorts every day. Once a day, I'll release a 60 second video short on something I've seen or life, anything. So stay tuned and watch my April shorts for the next 30. Is it 30 or 31? Can't remember days. Let's hope I can do it every day. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, take care in Peru, don't get lost um, and be aware of your surroundings and report back what inspired your project. Bye for now. Welcome to Yarn Vacation AU Participant Prize Draw for the month of March. There are 22 names on the wheel, so one lucky person will win a $25 gift voucher. Good luck everyone! Congratulations Sue, Su Susan Smith! You have won yourself a $25 gift voucher. Just check out my email in the description below and send me an email to claim your prize in the next seven days and we'll make an arrangement as to what we can give you in a $25 gift voucher. I don't even know what country Sue's from. I can't remember. I'm having a brain dead day. Thanks everyone and I'm looking forward to your photos. Hashtag Yarn Vacation AU for the month of April. Bye for now.